Good morning and welcome back to another Dino Days video. And today, this beautiful, and it is a beautiful, very red, very red FN2 Civic Type R is being tuned with Hondata. So uh, one that we don't normally use anymore is the Hondata technology, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get mapping and, uh, and see what we make. It's got some modifications, which we'll run through at the end. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful car. What a great way to start our Friday morning. Just before we start, look how cool that is. Oh yeah, I think I need one of them. Well, what a beautiful, very clean Milano Red FN2 Civic Type R. I just want to say that it wasn't intentional, but we both had a haircut and a bit of a trim up <laughs> yesterday. And it did, like I say, it wasn't necessarily intentional, it just worked out that way. So if anyone's noticed, we've not been together and cut each other's hair or anything. It's not. I think you know, he looks lovely. Yeah. In the comments below, if you think Richard looks lovely with his hair shorter, let us know. We really want to hear from you. We don't. We do. Honestly, we don't care. Yeah, I expect to see every <laughs> subscriber commenting how lovely he looks. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. Well, I'm on holiday next week, so Mrs. said I've got to have a haircut and a bit of a shade to go on holiday. So that was the he reason. He doesn't do it for me. No, not interested for you. Right. Anyway, FN2. So, yeah, FN2 comes this day. Got uh, some good mods on the car. Uh, it has got a solid fab manifold. He's got a three inch exhaust on it. What was I believe it? it's a TDI, yeah, North, TDI one, North kit, which we now sell by the way on the Dino Days website. Yeah, um, it's got an RRC inlet manifold. It has got which induction kit has it got? I think it's got a um, a C, I think it's got a CPL on Put the it. CPL on there. No, it might be actually, it's something like that. Yeah. So a decent induction kit anyway, either or way. Got some good mods on the car. Uh, probably the only thing it's really missing is a nice set of cams. Uh, it has got a sports cat in it, so that has hurt us a little bit on top end mm. power, I think. Uh, the customer pretty much said that he'd tuned it himself on the Flash Pro, or obviously had a go at tuning it himself on the Flash Pro. Uh, so we started over anyway, as we always do. Uh, fueling was very, I wouldn't say very up and down, but it was sort of started off very rich okay and then went very rich and then came back to okay and then went very rich for the top end so it was a it was a bit of a like this uh on the fuel in so we sorted that out uh we've obviously gone through the cam time ignition time and all the rest of it we've made 10 brake horsepower peak so probably from around seven and a half to eight and a half we've made 10 brake there yeah uh, we made a little bit in the mid-range where it went rich again in the mid-range uh and we've sorted that out but again no big numbers here but this car was to be fair already tuned even be it you know, yeah, I think with these you get a file, don't you? You know, like a group M file. You do, and then yeah, you yeah, start, yeah. And then you start tweaking it yourself yeah. if that's what you want to do, which is fine. Exactly, and um, I think that's where it was. I think it was pretty much on a base file. Yeah, it just wants time and effort like it's had today, doesn't it? Mm. So we got a bit more out of it. Like I say, I'd have liked to see this car make 240 today, and it should have really made that with its mods. Uh, but I believe that was down to the sports cat, and unfortunately that's the price you pay. The sports cat must be in a, uh, must be in a strange um, position as well. Yeah, it's probably on the side, yeah. But he, he said it was a 400 cell, so it's the biggest one you're going to get, so the most amount of restriction as well. Sure. So, you know, it, 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 basically, uh, it's worth five break all day long. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, of course, of course. But, 
you know, we chewed on what we've got. Should we have a look at that graph? on its own merit. Should we have a look at that graph? I just want to say there's one more video before you go on holiday. Is there? Yeah, because we're mapping another FNT. In a oh, well, of course there isn't there. Yeah, we've got to get Geno fitting it up first. Mm. Okay, but, yeah, let's right. go look at the graph. Let's have a look at the graph. Okay, so as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. Uh, made power across the range there, but especially at sort of peak peak power, we made 10 brake horsepower and uh, 10 wheel horsepower. Made a bit of a uh, bit of torque, but we finish on 234 brake horsepower, just about 200 at the wheels. So there you go. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, yeah, and come on, that is so beautiful in red. It's, it's rare to see one as nice as this in red. And you know what? The only one I've seen that beats this one so far is the one that Uncle Keith painted that's red. So, um, yes, very, very nice indeed. And it makes it a pleasure to get to work on a Friday and see something as nice as this. But uh, code word, Milano Red. And we'll see you all on the next one. Boy, I'll see you again. Wait, it was pretty fast.